Welcome back you beautiful people and welcome to another Blake Builds episode where I am going to put my welding skills together and I am going to build a hardtail bike, a frame. Yeah, how hard can it be to build your own mountain bike in your garage? It's getting hard now, really hard. No going back now, man. Ha ha ha! Oh no. <laughs> My plan in this video is to build a bike from scratch. What could possibly go wrong? I've built a work stand, a manual machine, a side hack, ultimate bike cave, and for some stupid reason, a human balance bike. Ever since I could remember, I've wanted to do this, and today is the day. And it all starts with some basic mild steel tubing. Okay, so the materials I'm using for this build, for the frame, is just mild steel piping. Now, when it comes to mountain bikes or any bicycle frame making, they use seamless tubing, which makes it a lot stronger. This has got a seam all the way, so it's you know it's prone to crack down under super stress. Which, to be honest, I'm not too worried about it. I'm on a budget, and all of this just I, I think it came to about I don't know 100 100 pounds. So I got a number of bits of tube in here. Uh, that will be the top tube. This will be my seat seat tube. Uh, this will be my down tube. I did think I would go and stick a big fat one, but it's going to be heavy this bike and I don't want it to be too too heavy so kind of eliminated this one and then these ones here are 16 mil tube and this is going to be my seat stays and my chain stays so I've got some of them uh, and I've got little bits down here and then I've got this tiny little tube right here this is going to be my um, like my little gussets that that go between the ch ch chain stays give a little little bit of a uh, strength but I'll see so this is the steel I'm using. That now this big fat plate here, six mil. Uh, that is going to be for my um, dropouts on the rear for those aluminium things to bolt to. Because uh, yeah, I am not haven't got uh, a, like a I haven't, haven't just haven't got all their tools. So I'm just going to use that and I'm going to use that and then just drill some holes and put it in there. This is the material I'm going to be using for this build. Mild steel for the bicycle. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. What does bicycle mean? It means bicycle in Shona, which is the language they speak in my home country of Zimbabwe. So I did a little bit of homework on uh, the frames I like, and um, obviously the frame I do love is the uh, Nukeproof Scout. So I've got a few dimensions from that. Uh, I, you know, what? I'm going to try and stick to it. It probably will not end up looking like the Scout. But hey, what I did notice when I was looking at that little drawing you get on the website is that um, everything works off the BB. So I'm going to work off the BB as much as I can. Right, get some angles going. Done my BB. I'm going to work from that. <sighs> Hopefully I don't make a mistake. But we can always see. Right, more time lapse. Okay, it's like just gone past 8 p.m. Uh, it's taken me pretty much all day faffing. I made a mistake. The, the head angle was totally out. It was ridiculous. So I thought, go back to the drawing board, draw it up again. I had a quick phone call with Robert Nukeproof just to uh, help me out and understand how the drawing goes, where it starts from and blah, 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 and how to put this there and <sighs> learning curve. I'm stoked. I can't wait now to cut all the steel 
kind of measure it up again, cut it up and start welding and let's uh, let's start making this first triangle. I'm gonna start with the front one because I feel like that's the easiest one because the rear, you gotta be doing some bending and stuff, you know, tire clearance, we need it. I started to cut up an old bottom bracket and head tube as the base of my frame. First one cut, that is the seat tube. I'm just gonna cut all the tubes to uh, to the right length because before I start welding them all together, I need to put in all the little accessories that I need to do now before doing it whilst it's all welded up. That makes sense because it will be super hard to do all the little trinkets on the frame when it's fully built. Because I won't be able to get in there. So I'm gonna do that all before doing the welding. Down tube. Next step is to drill a hole and add a cap for the dropper post and also make some tabs for a bottle cage. Oh. Bottle cage bolts in. Yes! Now we can start notching the tubes and uh, putting in bottom brackets and stuff. <laughs> Just that is done by eye. You can't just, oh, it's, it's disgusting. But it works, it works. Uh, that is perfect, perfect fit. Look at that, oh my gosh. Anyway, all right, now I'm just gonna match this up. Spot weld it. Make sure it's all level. Then match it up to the drawing. And if it matches the drawing, like, good enough, I think it will be good enough. I tacked the down tube to the BB and after a quick check against the drawing, <laughs> it was spot on. I've come to uh, the head tube, which is uh, a bit scary. <laughs> Do you like my jig? So these are just magnets, and to be honest, they're working out okay. For now, they're probably, it's, yeah, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Now it's time to weld this guy onto here, level, and hopefully, the head angle is good. I'll offer it up to the drawing when this is tacked on. Do I make a jig to make that straight or do I just do it by eye? <laughs> well, here's a garage build. Do I just do it by eye? Or do I do it professionally? How can I do it professionally, Blake? You have no tools. Professional tools. Holy moly. That's not straight. Cut! 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 That was totally unacceptable, dude. Oh! Ah. Oh no. <laughs> this is difficult now. I'm so worried. I'm just like trying to be so, so... Well, perfect, but it's not, is it? Because I haven't got a jig. And I'm just balancing the head tube of a bike in the air. Let's try, let's, let's try that again. 
head tube is on. Let's just hope it uh, it's kind of straight. I'm gonna take it to the the drawing. I'll give us a uh, rough idea that it's in the right place and the right head angle. Hey! After a couple duff attempts at welding the head tube on, we got there in the end. Nice and straight-ish. Nice and straight-ish. <laughs> Whose idea was this? How hard it is, how hard is it to build a frame in your garage? Really hard. We should crack on. This is um, all tacked up. Front triangle. Let's move on to the rear triangle which I feel like is going to be even more of a headache. Even more of a headache. I'm learning so much. Okay, the next step is the triangle, but before I start cutting the tubes and trying to bend them in, into place and stuff, I'm gonna make the dropouts for where these are gonna bolt to. So I've got this six mil plate, I'm gonna trace around this, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of steel up here, blah, 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 and probably add some bits like this, so I can uh, add, you know, weld the tubes to it. And um, yeah, this part here is gonna be the easiest part, to be honest. I just gotta cut two exactly the same, this is going to be the easiest part. The hardest part is bending the tubes and oh my gosh, it's getting hard now, really hard. And I thought the front triangle was hard. This part is absolute crucial. Actually, everything on this bike is crucial. But this bit right here, I just quickly cut this and um, it is totally wrong. Totally wrong, because I rushed into it and it's all skew if. So this cut here is not very straight. This cut here is not very straight. So I rushed out and I bought myself a, a pipe cutter. Now this thing cuts pipe to the straightest of everything, which is amazing. And I need that, because this needs to be straight. Absolutely needs to be straight. Okay, dropouts in, I'm gonna put this all together. I'm gonna start cutting and bending and doing the rear triangle, which is gonna be a hell of a task, I keep saying. I am just, I'm tired now because of this thing. You know, I've only done the front triangle, but this is day three. It doesn't look like it. This is day three. And you go, oh, oh. Let's get this thing kind of complete now. My first job was to cut a new dummy axle for the rear triangle jig. And then I set out to make the rest of the jig and cut and bending my chain stays which uh, took a while. Oh, <laughs> yes, that is an absolute milestone. An absolute milestone, wow. The chainstay is in. I don't know if it's level or anything, but if it looks, it looks really good, it looks level-ish to my eyes. But if you were to put it in a jig, hell dude, this thing will be like spaghetti, man. It's all wobbly. Right, but I, I am so chuffed with that. This is perfect. That is so good. That there fits in amazing there. There's no massive gaps. That is just so good to start welding on, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to put my uh, other one on right here, which I need to still cut a groove in it, just like this one right here. Uh, this one's been 
beveled, whatever it is, I don't know what you call it, but that's to go in there. I just need to chop this a bit, make it the right length, and then, holy moly, mother of Moses, do it. I've, I'm building a bike in my garage, and it's not easy, but it is fun. <laughs> Let's do this side, and then get onto the seat stays, because, dude, that just looks like a bicycle straight away. There's no going back now, man. Ha ha ha, snap. So I worked till the early more early hours of the morning last night, and uh, it's the next day. But hey, we're not going by days, even though this is day four. Anyway, now the frame is complete. Look at this. I even I I had I just couldn't resist putting on my bottle cage and bottle in there. It, it just looks it, it looks like a mountain bike now, but. Cable uh, routing, cable organization. That's what I'm doing right now. And uh, I came up with a cool idea. Yeah, you might not like it, but I've got some M6 nuts or M5 nuts. And uh, that there, the internal diameter of that is the perfect external diameter of a brake hose. So I'm going to weld these little guys all along wherever I need them so I can run uh, my cables through them without cable ties. Boom. Nuts. Not boom cable ties. Boom. Nuts. <laughs> so I'm going to weld these all up in uh, some good areas so my cables stay in one area. So that's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> Look at that though. Look at that. That's a bottle cage. I made that go there. I made it. I didn't buy a bike with it there. I made it. I can't believe I'm making a bike. After the cable routing, I started on my seat clamp, which in the end needed two bolts to work. Okay, this is the last bit of welding, and it's just this. Little tube, little gusset. That little gusset is gonna go in there just like that. It's just gonna add a little bit more strength to the rear triangle. And hopefully it doesn't flex as much. But that guy's gonna go in there, and then it's, uh, well, it's time to assemble the rig. I, ca I can't wait. Right, let's weld this in and then build it and then I'll do a grand reveal because you probably don't want to see the build. So I'll just go, voila, and here it is. Look at it. I'm still speechless on how this thing has turned out. It looks like a bicycle. Wait, well, it is a bicycle. I actually made a bicycle. I made a bike. I made a bike. I, <laughs> I made a bicycle. Look at it, man. I'm still admiring how crazy, like all these bends. It took me ages to do all this. Welding is not the best. But look at that. I built my first ever mountain bike, hardtail, 29 inch wheels with 150 mil of travel on the front. And it, it, it works, it rolls. One thing I haven't done is, is tested it, which I cannot wait to go and do. I'm gonna go bike packing on this thing, two day trip, and that is gonna give it the ultimate test. I'm gonna strap bags to it. I'm gonna go out there, spend a night, and just reminisce on how much I struggled to build this bike. It was the absolute head scratcher. I learned a lot when I was when I was building this. Now, when I drew it up, I kind of went off the same ge same geometry and lengths and diameters and whatever from my Nukeproof Scout, and I thought I'd kind of stick to it. So the seat stay on this was going to be 440. 
it's actually a little bit longer, it's 442. Uh, the rear is, uh, you know, it's supposed to be dead straight, kind of not. It just aims to the left a little bit, leans over there slightly. Now with the head angle, it was a 64, what I was going for. This has come out at a 62, 63, in between the two, so that's not too bad. 14.4 kilograms, the whole bike. 3.8 kilograms just for the frame. So there you go, I built a bike, a mountain bike, in my garage. It was uh, hard, head scratchingly hard. I uh, struggled with some bits, I made mistakes, but hey, kind of goes to, uh, kind of go to appreciate how much it's, it takes to make a mountain bike. The bike that you're riding is taking years and years of R&D and all those people designing it, coming up with the best geometries and all that, whew, kind of just like hits home on what bike you've got in your possession. What you ride is, uh, is special. This is special. Oh, I can't, I can't believe it. Thank you very much for watching this rad video. Stick around because the next one is me going bike packing on this bike and hopefully it stays in one piece and doesn't snap. If it does, I just come back and I just weld it again. Maybe put a gusset there or something. Thank you very much. See ya. I'm actually gonna go and test it. I haven't even done that. See ya.